Feeding time. Feed me more. Yo, welcome to Feeding Time. I am the big guy Ryback. Right we got a little more of a downward angle. We can't see the top of your head. I know, I know, but we can't see these. The cotton candy finish it branch chain amino acids today guys um it's my sunday so it's the day where i'll do my cheat meal or usually have a cheat meal and maybe like a little dessert thing but i just count it all as one the calories um but i'm not doing a necessarily a cheat meal here i um i didn't feel like eating like fast food fast food so i like, oh, they have Denny's. There's a new Denny's down down the road from me. So I go, well, I can get, I haven't had Denny's in forever. I used to eat Denny's all the time on the road to go get omelets. And uh, so today I got two Philly cheesesteak omelets with uh, red potatoes there. I'm hoping I got some ketchup. Well, they do have ketchup good. For that, I got, and uh, you know, I like to feed myself more information. I can never have enough information in here. So I got two of them. We got a, I got a busy day. I got legs today. I got abs, core, abs and core, which is, it's a, it's a big day. Um, but I don't necessarily, I don't think I have any cardio or conditioning today. I, no, we're not doing it because with everything that I got. So, and I also got to do another video. I think later I got to do a Ryback has heat video. And I think I got to do this Willie Pete's. Uh, Johnny Scoville Chili Cherry Nightmare, which is, I think, 17 Carolina Reaper Peppers. And there's rules on this, which I would do for the video, but I don't throw that stuff up. So that'll probably fuck me up. But for a bit, not bad, nothing bad. I haven't been doing a lot of the heat stuff, though. I was doing it like every day for a bit and got my tolerance. And still, my tolerance is high, but anyways. I'm gonna go ahead, guys. Give me a little ketchup over here. Was that jelly? Oh, that's I got toast too. Got some uh, some toast. We'll throw that toast over here. A lot of toast. There's two bags. Um, I wish I had my. Uh, I didn't. I ran out of ketchup. I had my own organic ketchup, but I know some of you want to see the ketchup because there's some weirdos out there. We like to see everything. I know you guys like want me to pan down more, but as you can see this video, it's, um, we're at the limit. My head, I can't do anything about it, guys. I also am not particularly, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Maybe not the best YouTuber. And the fact that I just don't give a shit. I just do these, have fun. We want to see the table and the food. I know, guys, but I also want to see my face in the video. No, I'll tell him to put the camera back. I don't want to. I like it where it's at. Good distance. I feel close to you guys talking. You know, if I go further back, that opens up a whole new can of worms for people that, that want me to be closer. So you pick your poison, you know? <sighs> nice Denny's breakfast. Memories on the road. I can do this so guys, I can hold it for you. Live a little potato. Mmm. Oh, how I miss you little potato. Little red potatoes. Hmm? Mmm. Those are good. I'm so easily pleased. I'm such a simple, simple man. Mmm. Oh, shit, I knocked all my toast off. I don't think I'm going to eat the... Nah, I don't know if I'm going to eat the toast. Maybe, no, I do need the carbs. Maybe I'll eat a little. Let me just cut this up a little here to show you guys. So I can hold it and eat it and not... Uh, got a busy day ahead, though. This little Philly cheese steak omelet. Mm. 
and I know there's some people, guys, I'm, I actually got this new phone holder in that should allow it to follow me. That when I, I can do maybe a little cooking deal. So I might try that later. I gotta get it all synced up, but cook some healthy meals, show you guys. I'm, it's so simple. I just, I'm not like, I'm not, a, I'm not like a world renowned chef or anything. Eating healthy is pretty easy. Doing steak though. And uh, typically vegetarian six days a week. And do one or two meals there. But I know some people, you can do both. It's balance. Because in... I really believe eating plant-based as much as possible is is very beneficial to the human body. I just think it's it's a balance. And that's what I've tried. And I've had success with it. I've missed Denny's. You get so used to eating on the road. Five years straight. Ah, I love these. I do four to six scoops every day. I do two scoops at a time because there's two and a half grams of glutamine in the uh, finish it BCA electrolyte matrix. And uh, to get five grams of glutamine each time I love glutamine. Mm. I love lamp. Little dogs over there lying down. They have their farmer's dog food in the morning and they play with their toys. I get them those little tennis balls. They fucking love those things. Sophie always gets them under the table, under the little coffee table in there. I have to get them out for her. Then she scratches the hell out of my arm. She's possessed over them. It cracks me up though. Mm. I'm going to save the toast at the end. I need more information. We got to get a bunch of kids. How many ketchup packets? Do we need more ketchup for this one? Yes. Four packets. Perfect. I think we did two on the last one. Maybe three. I also uh, had to... Uh, Woke up, had to do some of my social media stuff. I got to do a little more actually still before I take the uh, apps off my phone. Which, by the way, I, talk, I talked about it on my podcast, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback. F fucking these social media platforms. You know if you delete Twitter and Instagram off your phone? Like I use it and I take it off so that I don't, it keeps me from like just checking on it during the day. That way, and it just, for me, that works so well. And then if I need to do something, I just download it, put the information in, log in, and then take it right off. I found that to be very beneficial. Well, Instagram and Twitter, with their little AI and algorithm and just Zuckerberg behind the controls monitoring everything, they... Uh, they fuck your engagement even more when you take them off your phone. It's like the whole thing with, you know, if you don't post a certain amount of times, I've always heard that, but I always post and stuff. But if you take them off your phone too, and I was like, I'm like, man, 
like I can't, this it's upsetting and I and I keep taking it off because I'm like I'm not I don't care but I do care because I also got a business and you need to be seen by a certain level it's like holy shit man social media for you though but I woke up today I had a uh, nice death essentially a death threat from someone who claimed to have my address who didn't that they would show up and uh, and this is for no rhyme or reason. So I'm just like, oh, I must be doing something right. It's always nice. I haven't got one of those in a while. Usually the people that send that, though, no, every time, not like usually, it's, there's off many clicks. Just reported it, which will go on deaf ears to Instagram. So I got the snap, the screenshot of it, and the name just in case. But here's a little Billy, a little Jeffrey wants to show up. I'm justified when I beat the shit out of him. <laughs> uh, he told me, I know you're human and you bleed. There's no, no shit. Don't you think I'm a fucking Terminator? Like a machine? Just living here eating fucking food on YouTube? I don't know. Maybe I am. I think everybody, everything bleeds. Never ceases to amaze me, though, what, what you can get. On there. Amidst all the love and positivity, there will always be evil, ladies and gentlemen. It's up to us just to block it out and let those fucks be miserable on their own. Because life is fucking awesome. We can choose to let life be awesome and choose to be happy each and every single day. It's a choice. Just we decide what we want to be, what we want to focus on. So, ah. I love those. Do I have any more? Oh, I got jelly. <clears throat> oh, could have used a tad more ketchup. Ah, shit. We're okay. We'll hold this up for you guys here. Let you see the... Mm. Weather's been pretty nice in Vegas. Hot, but not regular summer, 110, 115 hot yet. It did jump up there for like a week. And then it came down. It was actually really nice. For June, it blew me away how it was actually kind of on the cooler side. Which I guess just goes to show this. What a crazy year it's been. I got my back stem cell procedure on the 22nd. Can't wait for that. And then just waiting to go to Bio Accelerator in Columbia. Waiting to get a finalized date for that. Which I think they said September. But I'm hoping it's like August. Really want to get these done. We've had a breakthrough with my shoulder. I found... I believe it has to do with my teres minor and my rhomboid area. There were two or three these smaller muscles. And it's been a process of working with Andrew Locke, who will follow him on Instagram. He's a brilliant, br brilliant physiotherapist. And I've worked in like, like smash works and with the Trevor ba Bachmeyer. Like he's a genius. Like I've taken like all these little things from these guys. And Andrew's worked with me from the beginning with my back. And like we got my back all better and with the stem cells. And just constant strengthening. Because like this is never and this isn't this has never been overcome to this what like what I'm doing. 
it's not, this isn't, there's not like a, a textbook on, on this is what you do to, uh, you know, recover from needing a five disc fusion and right shoulder replacement, which from pain medications and drugs being given to me made it way worse than it ever should have been. But I've been blessed and I've been lucky. Like we got over the back and then the, the shoulder has been like a shoulder is a fucking puzzle. There's so many things in it that's involved. I had atrophy down my tricep, my whole back of my scapula, all atrophied. At, at, this was in the beginning and it's all come back slowly. My right lat completely disappeared because I couldn't externally rotate because having the full blown arthritis in the shoulder, all these other things started happening from the cortisone they were giving me. And it, it didn't all happen at once. This happened over a period of years of just, and then the drugs covering up the, the, the pain. So I didn't really know what the problem until I left, how serious it was. And then it just got, just got blindsided by all of it. But essentially we've put this together with the rehab and it, it, there's been, it's come in stages and the stem cells have allowed me to keep pushing harder and harder. And finally, I like, I message him. I go, I think I figured out all this stuff that I'm doing, why I, I can't get over this list last hump. And I thought it had to do initially just with my lat. It was with that teres minor and rhomboid. There's something, those, those weren't firing though. Cause those had atrophied so much and all the exercises we were doing, I found one exercise that particularly hit it, which allowed me to start externally rotating more. And then Andrew added on this other exercise to everything that we're doing. And it's been like seven or eight days of doing it. And all of a sudden I have that motion back that I'd lost and getting these stem cells. It's like, that was it. So it's now just getting these final ones and continuing this. And then I should be able to really push myself again. And, uh, yeah, it'll be good. And I think it, it, be better than ever. And I think some people don't understand. Like I can go back, go back to wrestling whenever I go. I was so hurt. I, if I didn't get what I got done, like I would have had to retire and I would have been like really, really fucked up way past what it was. So this was a stop everything, shut down the competitive gene and figure this out. And then could probably wrestle as long as I want to once it's all done. Because I, I, I've always been able to take care of myself. This was kind of a result of doing a couple moves that nobody else was doing. And then again, getting cortisone, which never should have let anyone inject me with cortisone as much as they did where they did. And uh, it's crazy, but a lot of positives have come out of it. So it's like there's the light. I could see the light at the end of the tunnel, but I just got to make sure because it, it's this has been it's me that deals with it. And nobody understands as far as how would you? So because there's so many people, they don't understand. They still don't why I left or there's people that hate me that don't that, you know, you suck. That's why you haven't signed anywhere. It's, no, like you guys. Keep saying that because you're going to be standing on your feet trembling when you see me again. I promise you. I promise you. I fucking promise you. And I have all the patience in the world. That's how I've gotten everything that I've gotten. Patience. Mmm. I got to say too, to the guy that made those, <clears throat> those Zoom videos of me eating the chips, trolling the Zoom classes, holy hell, some of the best shit I've seen. I need to do another ASMR video. I'm actually going to, mm. I got a fan mail here. I got the chili cherry nightmare. I think I'll do an ASMR video though. Um, usually we just need three videos a week 
and I've already got two done. But I'm doing an ASMR video with uh, thinking of Tourette's with the random outburst, because I think that would and let that guy put that video, random clips, just give him enough content where he can do it, because that guy put in the right, he knows what parts to take. Me just randomly screaming things. It's a good idea. There are some people that think I do have uh, do have Tourette's so. though. And it's just, because this is all entertainment and fun. I like to put some positive messages in here. I like to to make fun of the people that complain a little bit. Because it's, to be quite honest, it's, it's entertaining to talk about. And, um... And do a little promotion, of course. It's not promoting when you believe and love it. And if you don't think I fucking love my stuff, I got everything in my supplements. Let's just see. Let's try it. Oh, it's buttered. Oh, I don't know how much of this I'm going to eat. I don't want this. This wasn't supposed to be. Let me just make sure this one's not buttered, too. No, it is. Fuck. Fuck, it's buttered. Oh, yeah, I gotta finish it. Finish it. I'm not eating all that toast. That's good. It's a lot of. One, two, four. One, two, two, four. Six more pieces of toast. Holy hell. So much fucking bread. Ah, done. All right, guys. That was the Denny's Philly cheesesteak omelet. And uh, with the red potatoes. I'm giving this meal... And you could have subbed those with egg whites if you want. I just got them regular with that because it's Sunday. I mean, I guess this technically is my cheat meal for the day. Um, I'm given that, given it, the steak was really juicy and tender. That, and I've had them before on the road where they are dry at times. Given that 4.7 stars, that was that was delicious. Thumbs up. Right there, almost two full thumbs up. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Thank you very much for watching another edition of, of Feeding Time. And uh, I'll see you. see you soon. Get hungry, stay hungry. Feed me more. Yo, thank you guys for watching Ryback TV. If you could check out my Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report every Monday on all podcast platforms, conversation with the big guy Ryback every Thursday morning on all podcast platforms, and Feed Me More Nutrition, my personal supplement line, available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. Save 10% with discount code YouTube10 and save... Stupid! Why couldn't you? almost had it. I almost had the whole video done in one take. Ah. <sighs> New customers, you can save 20% with discount code NEWCUSTOMER on feedmemore.com. Get hungry, stay hungry, feed me more.